When you were training, I think you broke your leg early on. What happened with that? Simon Gotch, we did an interview with Simon. He claimed that you broke your own leg trying to counter, uh, and I guess you blamed it on a loose canvas or something like that. Yeah, I mean, dude, let's let's not get into nuts and bolts. Yeah, I broke my own leg. You got to go out there and break a leg. Are you kidding? All right, let's get let's get one thing out of the way here, okay? The elephant in the room, if you will. No, it's not an elephant okay. in the room in my world. You know, I, I won't even say his name, okay, until I get to the punchline. All right. All right. So let me tell you about a particular guy and his partner Aiden English, who, uh, by the way, I have my tryout with Aiden English, and we got signed at the same time. So I love Aiden. He was uh, we worked so many matches with those guys. And there's a guy that you just mentioned who's wrestled in, and, and for 10 years, 12 years, and, and and wants this thing so bad. And I'm sorry, kid. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's not gonna be that easy when you got Enzo and Cass around, bro. So. One day we do promo class, all right? You know what promo class is? Of course. You go up there, you cut a promo. But at this point in the stature of NXT, we got a television brand that's that's now starting to pick up steam. And now Michael Cole and Dusty Rhodes and, uh, you know, other people who sit in the hierarchy of production and uh, commentating and our producers, you know? are sitting at a table every Wednesday before we do tapings on Thursday in NXT. And what you say at that taping could get you booked on TV tomorrow for some people. Could get you a debut or could get you looked at. So those opportunities were huge for people. Not important. Simon Gotch, here's his name. Aiden English, pop up. Me and Cass have yet to do our promo. The big wigs are hanging out that night. We got TV tapings the next day. I look at this guy, and uh, and he's in his ring gear. You know, the, the, the suit and tie button downs. You know, he's in his ring gear now. Right. The, the thing or whatever. And he's standing in the back of the room, and I go, oh, hell no, Cass. We got to change our promo, bro. We, we, we can't let that happen. And Cass like, what, what do you want to say? I'm like, I'm like, bury him, you know? So I go up there, and I don't remember exactly what we said. Not today. So I don't remember exactly what we said. But me and Big Cass start buzzing about, about Aiden English and Simon Gotch. Okay? And I say, uh, Simon Gotch? Simon Gotch, let me tell you something about Simon Gotch. You guys want to know something about Simon Gotch? Tell you something about Simon Gotch. Simon Gotch has got a pair of titties like a 65-year-old woman. A don't. At this point in the room, huge pop. They all turn around. Simon Gotch has his Andre the Giant singlet on. And his little bitch titties hanging over the top of it. And he makes the mistake of picking it up and putting it over. <laughs> Double pop. Right. So, <laughs> Timon got his titties like a 65 year old woman. Eyes to Simon. Put my titty back in. Forget it. Kid died in his mind right there. And I got the biggest pop of the night in promo class. Ended right there for me. Clearly, going down the line now, we see that the remnants of those words have hung heavy in the titty of Simon Gotch. Okay? He's wearing it right here in his fucking heart. All right? Yeah. And I see the bitch in his heart when, uh, you know, whenever he opens his mouth and mentions my name. Because that's the only time that anybody gives a fuck about what he's saying. So I gave him the luxury of saying his freaking name for the first time ever in an interview. And I'll end it there. Because I have no ill will towards a guy unless he ever comes out and says that he knocked me out on purpose because let's just fucking be clear. That guy hates me. And I don't have hate, I don't have a bone of hate in my body. I also don't have a bitch bone in my thug. I don't have a thuggish, ruggish bitch bone in my body either. How you doing, okay? Right. You know, so if I have a found out that he pushed me harder on purpose and that's what caused the injury, I ran that spot a hundred times with Aiden English and he'll tell you about it. And I would just do a 619 out of the ring and never land the same and it looked terrible. 
So if I baseball slide out of the bottom of the ropes, like I hit my head on the second, hit my head on the rope, I catch my elbow underneath the rope. And then right when I start to rotate, like Ray on the 619, I let go. Right. And then I just spill to the floor. And you could hear a pin drop. Ooh. Right. It looks disgusting. I've done it a hundred times on live events with Aiden English. Never one time in my life did it with Simon Gotch. The first time I ever did it with him, I ended up in a hospital. And uh, if I ever found out that Simon Gotch did that shit on purpose, if he came out and said that, how you doing? <laughs>